this is Rob for Rob's Guitar School and uh, welcome to our next in our series of acoustic fingerstyle videos. And if you like all the videos that we had before, you like this video, uh, please click like and subscribe. We have a lot of stuff here and we'd love to have you visit us more regularly. A lot of great stuff to learn here. So um, here we are with uh, Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, so if you've listened to this song before, um, you'll notice it seems like there's a lot going on and really what it is is there's two guitar parts uh, going on and a, a lead acoustic guitar part and the rhythm part being played uh, by Jim Croce and uh, so we're just going to be focusing on the part played by Jim Croce you know when you play this song you can't be two guitars you, you perform this song you can't be uh, two guitars at once so we're just going to focus on you know the, the guts of the song so to speak so um, let's get to it um, the song really comes down to a verse and a chorus part. There are two different finger picking patterns, um, but uh, once you get the finger picking patterns down, it's, it's, it's pretty easy. So um, let's go right into it here. Um, the easiest way uh, for me to, just, to, just, to teach this is to just show you the chord, uh, the chord uh, patterns, uh, excuse me, the chord shapes first. And then we'll get into the finger picking pattern. So with the intro, the intro is the same um, um, same chord shapes as the verse here. So our chords are D minor, and then we're going to go to a D minor uh, C sharp. So this is going to be the toughest chord uh, in um, this. You just you have to put that pinky out there. There's just no way around. It. And then. Um, also, one other thing I just want to point out, I'm playing this on a nylon string guitar, but I also uh, play this on a steel string. Um, you know, nylon's just a little easier for finger picking, but you can certainly do this on steel string, no problem. Um, so anyways, uh, we had the D minor, D minor C sharp. Uh, we got a D minor C. So what's happening here on this is we have the D minor, then we're just taking that pinky for the D minor C sharp. Then we're gonna do a pink a, a, a finger switch here. We gotta put we're gonna put the third finger on the C here on the third fret of the uh, fifth string, and the pinky is gonna drop down uh, to where the third finger used to be on the third fret of string two. Okay, we're gonna keep that pinky anchored here, and then we're gonna drop the middle finger down uh, to uh, this G seven B shape. Weird chord uh, names, but that's it's okay. Um, and uh, your first finger and pinky stay the same here. And then um, the next one you're gonna have is this uh, an E diminished B flat. And once again, don't worry about the chord names. It's just where you put your fingers. We could call them Sam, Doug, Steve, or whatever. You know. So, um, and what happens here is we have this really cool uh, moving bass line. You know, our D, C sharp, C, B. Kind of gives it a dark sound. Uh, you know, there's a lot of songs that kind of have this, especially from that period like, you know, Stairway to Heaven. You know. So all that chromatically descending kind of thing. Okay, so, um, so that is uh, uh, the first part of the intro here. This, in terms of the finger picking pattern, it's really going to go four, three, two, one, two, three, and then it'll switch when we go to the bass notes when they're on the fifth string. It'll be five, three, two, one, two, three. You know, so uh, so that's the finger picking pattern. And in terms of what we're going to be using with our right hand, just as we've been saying in our other videos, uh, when you finger pick. Um, your thumb is always going to be assigned to strings four, five, and six, and these three fingers uh, will line up on these three strings. So uh, your first finger is going to be on string three, middle finger on string two, and your third finger on string one. And um, while uh, you can certainly finger pick it different ways, I highly recommend uh, using this because if you get this down when you go to do finger picking in the future, um, it's going to be a lot less confusing trying to figure out what your your uh, you know where your fingers are supposed to go. This will set a great firm foundation as you grow on your instrument. Um, once again, I'll, I'll, so there is a one little caveat. There are times where you will break the uh, rule 
this finger picking rule, but this is always a great uh, place to start with, you know, a great rule of thumb, so um, to speak. I'm going to just play that little sequence again into the second and final part of the uh, intro here. <laughs> While we go through these chord shapes, we're gonna go for our D minor, four, three, two, one, two, three. That's the finger picking pattern. Then obviously we'll go to the D minor, C sharp. Now it's five, three, two, one, two, three. And just notice that, you know, with those first, you know, so we get this, you know, and then we're gonna go to the next chord, the D minor, C sharp. all the same. Um, so how we start that is we're just going to start with this uh, same shape that we're using for the E flat, uh, E diminished B flat. And we're, so we'll, we're, we finish that with our finger picking pattern from the... Okay, and then all we're going to do to start the second section is we're going to pluck the fifth and uh, second strings together. Remember, thumb and middle finger. And then the next one we're at the open fifth string and our second finger is on the second fret of string two. Then the next one, um, our third finger and pinky are both on the third frets, but of the sixth string and third strings. And this one, to do it correctly with our finger picking, we're gonna be doing your thumb and uh, index finger. So we have, and then we're back to Second, and then now we're gonna do a GB shape, which we mind uh, we you know played some many songs here. First finger is gonna be on the second fret of string five, and your third finger is gonna be on the uh, third fret of string two. Then you're just gonna slide that up two frets, that same shape. This is at the fourth fret. That's at the fifth fret. Now we're gonna. Um, uh, oh, and it's important to use your first and third fingers on this. It's just going to make things easier for you uh, to transition up here. So, see, if we do that, then uh, we're going to arrive at the eighth fret here. Our third finger is going to be on string two at the eighth fret, and our uh, second finger is going to be on string four at the eighth fret. So you can see when I do that, my third finger doesn't even move, so it makes it easier and quicker for us um, without having to lift up and move fingers around. Okay, the next part. Now, our second finger is going to slide down to the seventh fret here, and our first seventh fret of string four, and our first finger is going to slide down, is going to play on the sixth fret of string two, and then we're going to slide that second finger down to the fifth fret, and the third finger comes once again. Uh, down onto string two. It'll be at the fifth fret, same as uh, where our second finger is. And then uh, we're going to have our pinky do a hammer on and pull off on string two onto uh, the sixth fret and then off. Now, just working on that, the, uh, just as a reminder for those of you who are kind of new to the hammer ons and pull offs, uh, now it's not about exactly how hard you press when you do a hammer on, it's really the velocity of your finger. The faster it hits, the more the better sound it makes. And then when you do a pull off, a pull off once again isn't just lifting your finger up, it's you're pulling down. There we go. You're pulling down so that it causes the string to snap a little bit and makes the, the other note that your other finger is on ring. So a combination of hammer on and pull off. There we go. Okay. All right, so here's that whole intro. There you go. Now, U2 uh, has a great feature that allows you to uh, in the settings of the video, uh, you can slow down the video to like 75% speed, 50%, whatever. So use, use that feature. 
uh, use that feature as need be here. So if I haven't played it already, here is the whole verse part. <laughs> Okay, so um, now let's go to our verse part. Now the verse part, the first two thirds of it, it's, it's really the intro again, plus a little extra with a different finger picking pattern. Okay, so the finger picking pattern we're using for the, uh, for the uh, verse is a, a three, four, you got a kind of a waltz feel. Boom, ta, ta, boom, ta, ta, boom, ta, ta. And so what we're doing is, um, what we're doing here is, there we go. So what we have here is, so we're gonna go fourth string, third string, so that's thumb. And remember these three fingers are lining up on these strings. And then with our second and third fingers, we're gonna pluck strings one and two. So we have, and then, or three so um, and think of it as two groups of three so the first three that we have is one two three and then the next group of three third string fourth string third string so it's and that's our finger picking pattern that's finger picking pattern two which is used the majority of the song then uh, it's going to continue on. Uh, now the bass line, bass uh, note, uh, just like the intro, uh, switches from the fourth string to the uh, fifth string. So we have. And then we're going to do just like the intro, the same thing as before. no hammer on and pull off it just goes because then it's going to go to the next section the next part of the verse is like I, as I was saying it's just like the intro uh, with except with finger picking pattern two now uh, the next part we're going to do a D minor chord where we can use our pinky here and um, and our finger picking pattern is still gonna be finger picking pattern two and then are uh, we gonna do a D minor C um, and because we had our pinky down there with the D minor, our third finger is going to come down and play the D minor C. So it's really easy. And then we're going to go from keeping the pinky down, uh, we're going to go to the uh, uh, E diminished B flat, still with finger, pick, uh, finger picking pattern two. Okay, then we're going to come to a different part here. Our finger picking is going to change a little bit. So we're going to keep that pinky down here. We can use our third or second finger, either one is fine, uh, on the G on the third fret of string uh, six. And our finger picking pattern is gonna go uh, six, three, two, six, three, two, three, four, three. Six, three, two, three, four, three. And then keeping that pinky down once again. going to happen here is our first finger is going to be on the F at the first fret of string six. And that middle finger is going to drop down to the A here on the second fret of string three. Once again, that pinky is still going to be anchored there on the third fret of the second string on the D there. Finger picking pattern, once again, wow, six, three, two, three, four, three. And then the next one, um, your pinky still anchored there. The second finger is going to be on the third fret of the sixth string, and your third finger is going to be on the third fret of string three. And the finger picking pattern is the same: six, three, two, three, four, three. So for that little section, it was. Okay, and then we have. So we're gonna go open in two, um, and our 
middle finger is going to be on the second fret of string two. Then we're going to go to a G, G B chord shape. That's your first finger on string five at the second fret, and your third finger on string um, two at the third fret. And what you're going to do is you're going to pluck strings five and two together, and then you're going to go three, then you go three, one, two. So we pick them both together, and then you go three, one, two. And then what you're going to do is go back to open fifth string and the second fret of string two. And you're going to do a hammer on and pull off here. So you're going to hammer on with that ring finger while you're holding down the second fret of string three. So you're going to do hammer on and pull up and then lift your fingers up and you can do strings five and two together. And then put it back down on this, put your middle finger back down on the second fret of string two. And then pluck strings five and two together. So yeah. So that whole little part right there was um Okay. So the chorus part goes like this. Alright, so let's go through this here. So, it's a D chord really, but how we're going to do it to make it kind of easier for our fingering here is we're not, instead of playing our D chord like this, we're going to have a little mini bar here on uh, the second fret and uh, it's going to be over strings one, two, and three. And then we'll put our middle finger on the uh, third fret of string two. So that's how we're playing our D. Instead of that, we're playing it like this. Okay, so we're going to do, uh, use this finger picking pattern too. And then what we're going to do is uh, take our third finger and we're going to put it on the C sharp here, on the third, the, excuse me, string five at the fourth fret. And then keeping that middle finger down, we're going to move our first finger so it's a bar here at, uh, um, you know, at the second fret here. And so we get the bass note. And then we're going to go back, da drop our first finger back down. We have, now we're, that's the open A. So we, so that whole little section was. And then we're going to go to. Okay, so what's going to happen there is after we have our, um, uh, we're going to keep that middle finger down where it was, uh, where it was on the uh, second string, third fret. So, uh, so it makes things pretty easy. We just haven't moved that second finger at all. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put our first finger on this third fret of string six. And that middle finger, uh, excuse me, ring, the third finger is going to go on the fourth fret of string uh, three. Once again, that second finger has not moved. It is on the uh, second string of the third fret. Okay, so our finger picking is going to go. It, so we have. So let's go six. Two, one, two, six, three, one, two, one, two. So that's our finger picking pattern. Then we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to a D F sharp chord shape here. So our our first finger is gonna be at the second fret of string six. Our middle finger is gonna be at the second fret of string three, and that third finger is gonna be on the uh, third fret of string two. Picking pattern is the same, six, three, one, two, one, two, and then the last one, same finger picking pattern, but everything comes off except for that third finger there, still anchored on string two at the third fret. And the finger picking pattern is same, six, three, one, two, one, two. So that whole part was. And then, um, 
So what we're gonna do, the last little part here is open a fifth string and then your middle finger on the second fret of string two. Then we do our G, B, uh, first finger is gonna be on uh, string five at the second fret and our third finger is on string two at the third fret. And then we're just gonna slide that up two frets. So that's gonna be at the fourth fret of string five and at the fifth fret of string two. So that's so just as a quick review, here's the chorus part again. So the last part we have to do of the song to cover here is just the um, outro here. So let me play that for us. dark sounding. So all it is here is we're just going to use two fingers here. And our first finger is at the uh, sixth fret of string two. And our second finger is at the uh, seventh fret of string three. And our finger picking pattern goes four, one, two, three, one, two. So four, one, two, three, one, two. Go ahead and say that to yourself eight million times. Four, one, two, three, one, two. Four, one, two, three, one, two. And then we're going to do um, harmonics here at the seventh fret on strings three and four. Now, once again, with harmonics, if you're not familiar with those, you touch them directly over the metal part of the fret, not over the middle. Otherwise, they don't ring, uh, they won't sound. Um, and you're going to do a third string, fourth string, third string. So that's Now you could, if you want, also if you wanted to, you could do. Um, you can also find these harmonics on the fifth fret on the fourth and fifth string, but they're not as easy as hitting them at the uh, seventh fret on the uh, third and fourth string. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna do that part three times. those fingers where they were before and you're just going to strum strings for three two and one down and um, that's it so uh, you know we'll put the uh, the arrangement of the piece in terms of like what goes uh, in the description of the song and um, and that's it um, if you have any questions certainly uh, leave them in the comments um, if you like this uh, video and uh, if you're interested in learning uh, finger style or any style of guitar from one of our you know, expert instructors, you can actually do that live and in person on Zoom. Um, so we'll have a, we have a link in uh, the description of the video below and you can set up a free lesson. You know, you have nothing to lose, nothing to lose. You can set up a free lesson with whatever instructors and um, They'll learn your goals on guitar. You know, they'll find out where you want to go on the instrument and show you something right away to help you get there. Um, so uh, go ahead and take us up on it. We'd love you to do uh, to do that. Um, and if you happen to live in uh, the New England area, in the uh, Boston area or Central Massachusetts area, we have a location in Newton and a location in Groton. So stay tuned for other exciting videos coming from our our channel here. And once again, like and subscribe. We'd love, uh, love to uh, have you visit us more often. All right, take care and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.